you can do zero to 80 miles an hour in first gear. Like many people in the Washington, D.C. area, Brian Murtha commutes five days a week to downtown and back, but he does it in an electric car. It's dead quiet. The Ford Ranger has a little bit of noise to it. Brian owns two factory-made electric vehicles, a Toyota RAV4 EV and a Ford Ranger pickup truck EV. These were produced in small numbers a few years ago. He charges them from the electricity produced by solar panels on the roof of his house. After I retired from the Air Force, I'm, I set a goal to uh, not use energy from anyone else off my property, to make all of my own energy myself and be energy independent. Major automakers are betting there will be more and more consumers like Brian in the future. Toyota General Motors and Mercedes plan to have an electric vehicle in showrooms within two years. The American-made Chevy Volt prototype has received widespread attention at auto shows. This is a 2002 Toyota RAV4 EV. It's a 100% pure battery electric vehicle. For now, fans of electric vehicles like Brian buy their electric cars on eBay. He paid $40,000 for the Toyota. It gives you 900 pounds at, a, at the lowest point of the car, which makes the center of gravity for the car better than the gasoline version which makes rollover less likely and gives you better handling. The inside, with a few exceptions, looks like a gasoline-powered car. The electric motor is actually air-cooled, and the electronics produce so little heat, it's not really of use in the wintertime for heating the passenger cabin. So Toyota put a uh, heat pump in here. Both of these units here He charges are... his cars in the garage by plugging in these receptors. It's got a little... Uh, infrared communications port in the center of the paddle. The electricity runs along wires that are connected to the solar panels on the roof. It does about 25 percent an hour. So if, if you ran it down a quarter uh, on the fuel gauge, if you were three quarters of a charge and you wanted to fill it all the way up, it would take you an hour. Brian says driving to work with a gasoline-powered vehicle would cost him about eight dollars a day in fuel. With the electric car, it's um, about uh, 20 to 25 kilowatt hours to go in and back. And uh, say at uh, 10 cents a kilowatt hour, that's about $3. His quest for energy independence includes his house. He has replaced appliances that run on natural gas with electric ones, including the furnace. But his solar array is not big enough to power the entire house and two cars. Well, if I didn't have the electric vehicles to refuel, the 2200-watt array uh, on the roof of my house right now per, almost completely powers the house. Brian plans to add another 7,000-watt array on the top of his garage. It will give him more than 9,000 watts, and that will be more power than he needs. Jeff Swicord, VOA News, Washington.